Hey there, everyone. Today, I'd like to talk to you about deleting and disabling user accounts. It is important to note that both of these options will make it so that that staff member is no longer able to sign in, and they will also no longer be listed on any of the website directories. For both options, they have times and places for when they'll be the best way forward. Regardless, you'll pretty much navigate to both of these options in the exact same way. You start by heading to the main menu button, then you'll go to people, you'll select users. Once this next window is opened, we'll see how we have users who are in red, also users who are in blue. We want to remember that anybody in red is a website admin. Anyone in blue, on the other hand, their default access is to sign in and to create and edit a teacher or staff page. It's important to note, too, that as a website admin, in most cases, I'm not going to have direct access to either edit another admin account, delete another admin account, or to disable or to create another admin account as well. In most cases, we'll send in a tech support ticket. The exception to that, though, is if we're signed in as the super admin account. As a super admin, you can directly create new admin accounts, delete other admin accounts, you can also edit other admin accounts, and you also, of course, have the option to just disable another admin account as well. Let's see the steps for both of these. For example, if I wanted to go in and to delete Jerry Smith's account, my first step is to go in and to click on his name. The next window we see, we have an option here to delete his user account. Before we do that though, it's important to note that as I mentioned, there's times and places for when either deleting or disabling a user account is going to be best. I do suggest in cases where you know the staff member is going to be returning to the school, maybe if they're on a temporary leave of absence or a temporary assignment, maybe helping out another school, cases like that, it is far better to just disable their user account. The reason is, is when you delete their user account, that actually deletes their teacher and staff pages as well. We have the option to delete on this window. Where do we go though to just disable a user account? To access that, where we're gonna go is we're gonna select update. The option to just disable a user account is located towards the bottom of the window. I scroll all the way down we do see here how we have the option to disable, but we also have another delete button here as well. In this case, I'm going to say that I want to just disable his user account. I check the disable box. I go in. I click save. Now check this out. If I go back to all users and I look for Jerry's name, I see it here. Well, notice now that his account is listed in gray. That is our indicator that his account has been disabled. Also though, if we go back to the staff directory and we refresh the screen, we'll notice too that he is no longer listed here. 